Hey everybody, this episode of Wad Doctors is all about setting food rules for sustainable success with healthy or clean eating. It's going to be all about how to uh, set rules for yourself so you can make your success with healthy eating sustainable and uh, preserve it over a long time. Now, I've coached a lot of people to higher CrossFit performance. I've coached a lot of people on getting their leanest physiques. I've coached a lot of people to getting their very first six packs. And uh, after doing this for many years, I can tell you confidently that there are definitely certain common denominators, some uh, consistent patterns that people who really, really succeed definitely do and the people that fall off the wagon, or people that will start and stop and yo-yo back and forth with their nutrition. There's definitely patterns that lead to success and definitely patterns lead to failure. And I'd be a fool not to recognize that the key patterns of behavior for success include um, having rules, definite concrete rules that a person sets for themselves so they have ownership over it and that they follow religiously in their day-to-day -day life. So here's first what we're talking about when we talk about having food rules. It's that uh, food rules are a set of guidelines that you live by that keep you outside of trouble areas or danger zones with your food and that guide your food decision making at every meal, every snack, every day. And it's based on your past personal experience, your present circumstances, and your future hopes and dreams. I'm going to say that again so it's really clear. Your food rules, your food guidelines that you set for yourself need to be based on your past experience, your past personal experience, your present circumstances, and your future hopes and dreams. Now here are some examples of actual food rules that um, I've had some folks adopt. I've seen some folks use these rules to great effect. And some of them are a little different because they're all from different perspectives based on different individuals' needs. But So don't think of it as like, this is the all-encompassing set of rules. These are just some examples. So one is, um, I only eat a certain number of carbs. I need I eat X number of carbs at each meal and in total every day. I only eat plant products, no animal products. Uh, I don't eat grains ever. I only eat cheat meals once a month. I only have a cheat meal on Christmas, on Thanksgiving, and on my birthday. I don't consume artificial or added sugars ever. I follow the South Beach diet to a T. I don't drink soda at all. I drink only one glass of wine a week. I record all of my foods in a food journal every day. I spend every Sunday afternoon preparing my foods for the week. I don't consume any dairy. I eat some protein, some fat, some carbohydrate at every single meal. These are examples of food rules that are effective, good food rules that depending on what your objectives are, these are concrete examples of rules that do work for people. Now, here are some examples of things that are not rules. And when I talk about having food rules, it's amazing to me how often people will say things like this as the rules they want to adopt. These are not rules. I try to eat healthy as often as possible. I only go off plan some of the time. I will just try to limit how much sugar I consume. I will mostly stick to the XYZ diet as much as possible. I won't eat too much junk food. I'll only have a little bit of this cheap food every once in a while. Really, any statement that involves the words try as much as possible, mostly or whatever I can, is not a rule. It's a wish. It's wishing on a star. Those, these are pretty sounding words that have no power whatsoever. They're gray areas with no concrete guidance at all. They're things that sound good, but that ensure that you have the wrong mindset. They ensure that you will fail. You will fail. I don't say that lightly. I say that from years and years of experience. If your food rule is, I just try to eat healthy as much as I can, you're going to fail. No doubt about it. You're going to be off plan within weeks. You have no concrete set of rules. 
The problem with these feel-good statements is that they're filled with loopholes, they're filled with out clauses, and all kinds of opportunities to screw things up. And you know what? Everybody who struggles to stick to healthy eating says things like that. Everybody who's gaining more weight from month to month, year to year, says things just like that. Everybody who yo-yos on and off their plans, who goes through phases of nutrition discipline and nutrition disaster, says things just like, well, I try to eat healthy as much as I can. I only have whatever food every once in a while, every so often, because they lack any concrete uh, roadmap for what to do and what not to do. If you want to have different results, don't follow the path of failures. If you want to have different results, follow the path of those who succeed and imitate what they do. Clean eating successes have rules they follow. My favorite pastor, Andy Stanley, did a whole sermon series on what he calls guardrails. These are rules that a person sets for themselves that keep them out of dangerous areas in relationships, health, and wealth. For example, he says that he and his wife have a rule that neither one of them will ever uh, alone have a meal with a member of the opposite sex besides each other. So the rule is that they don't just, like, he will not have a meal with a female alone just because he knows that that pattern of behavior is one that tends to lead to more troublesome or, uh, you know, perilous circumstances. So he knows that wisdom dictates he shouldn't do that. Now, nothing bad has happened that requires him to have this guideline, this guardrail, but he and his wife have decided that these rules keep them out of trouble, and so their relationship flourishes because of that. Now, that's one of the great things about many popular diets, like the Whole30 diet, the Mediterranean diet, the Zone diet, Renaissance periodization, or whatever, is that they all have these very clear guidelines about what to eat, when to eat it, how much to eat, etc. Now the rules from one thing to the next might be different, but they all have rules. And if you want to have sustainable, measurable, real success with improving your performance, improving your physique, feeling your best, being awesome, being optimally energized for life, you got to have these rules too. So let's, let's look at the Whole30, for example, which is uh, one example of a very rules-based program. In the Whole30, there's no artificial or added sugars whatsoever. There's no legumes, no dairy, no grains, no uh, recreation of off-plan fruits with uh, approved ingredients, like no paleo pancakes, for example. The beauty of that program is that it gives clear guidelines about what to do and what not to do. There's no room for misinterpretation or rationalization. There's clear yes to this, no to that. The Whole30 is clear too that when you're transitioning out of that program, you must select which of the Whole30 rules to keep and which to discard. The Whole30 program writers recognized that the rules you set and follow are your determinants of your success, period. Additionally, this is a cool thing, the rules themselves are wonderful for allowing tremendous uh, conservation of your mental resources, your mental energies. They're mental shortcuts. Basically, whenever you have to make a food decision about any given food, yes or no, you fall back on the rules. What, what does my past experience, my present circumstances, and my future hopes and dreams, based on those things, what is the wise thing to do? You make a decision based on that. It's very, very clear and easy. There's no rationalization. There's either yes or no. You fall back on your rules based on your experiences, etc. What is the wise thing to do? Having these effective food guidelines preset before the event happens allows you to make decisions lightning quick, lightning fast, and extremely easy. So you can move on to other things. You make decisions faster and without having to spend so much time ruminating on yes, no, should I, is it a good idea? You know, did I have this cheap food within the last week? Is that, um, you know, not, there's no like fudging around the, the edges with that. 
So let's go back to the start now. Food rules are a set of guidelines that you live by that keep you out of dangerous or troublesome areas and that guides your food decision making every day. They're based on your past personal experience, your present circumstances, and your future hopes and dreams. So let's practice setting a few guardrails or guidelines for ourselves based on these things. So let's look at your past personal experience. What has worked for you in the past? Um, did you feel better and see improved CrossFit performance when you were following a certain diet or when you were definitely not eating certain foods or when you were definitely biasing toward having certain foods? Um, do you have an experience where you had a little bit of a certain food, maybe ice cream, and then realize that it snowballed into a binge with lots of foods, like a ton of ice cream, and then, you know, maybe pies, maybe soda, maybe then you fell into this whole, screw it, doesn't matter, I already blew my diet pattern of behavior, where you completely blew your healthy eating plan entirely. These are, these are indicators of your success variables. Um, you have to write rules for yourself based on that information. If you know that ice cream for you leads to binging or that you can't control yourself once you start eating something, then your past experience is teaching you that you have to avoid that food. Your rule is then I don't eat ice cream. It just becomes a bad thing for you. Present circumstances. What are your circumstances presently? If you're traveling a lot for work this month, for example, and you'll be eating on the, on the road a lot in the next 30 days, maybe you just set some different rules. For example, my rules are I'll cook my own bref breakfasts in the hotel every day, I'll get rotisserie chicken salad and fruit for lunch at the nearest deli every day, and I'll only eat at vegetarian or vegan restaurants for dinner, just for example. Or if it's Christmas season and part of your family tradition that you respect and want to hold on to is that you, ha you guys drink eggnog together, then maybe the rule is I'm going to follow my intermittent fasting diet to a T through the entire month of December, except that Christmas Eve I'll have one cup of eggnog with my family and on Christmas Day after the Christmas dinner I'll have one cup of eggnog with my family then as well. Maybe that's your rule. Uh, future hopes and dreams. Do you, what do you want your tomorrow to be like? Do you want to improve your performance in CrossFit Metcons? Do you want your strength numbers to go up? Do you want to lose 10 more pounds? Uh, these desires should guide your decisions today and the rules you set for yourself. Your experience and your quality of life tomorrow are directly correlated to the decisions that you make today. They are an outcome based on the decisions that you make today and the rules you set for yourself. So if you want your strength numbers to improve, for example, and you believe that you have to add some more muscle to your frame to make that happen, maybe your rule is I'm going to consume one gram of protein for every pound of body weight that I want to weigh at my, at my uh, meals today. So, uh, or if you're wanting to maybe like lose 10 more pounds, then your rule is I will stay sugar free for all of December eating no added or artificial sugar except for one dessert that I have pre-decided for after Christmas dinner on Christmas day with my family, for example. So let's recap now. Food rules are a set of guidelines that you live by that keep you outside of trouble areas or danger zones and that guide your food decision making every single day. You need food rules that you set for yourself in order to uh, achieve and sustain massive levels of success. Base your food rules on your past personal experience, your present circumstances, and your future hopes and dreams. So to succeed now and in the future and live and experience all that healthy eating has to offer, set rules for yourself, take full ownership of them, commit to them 100% and commit to doing them without fail. Till next time, from all of us at Wad Doctors, we hope that you make the rest of the life, rest of your life, make the rest of your life the best of your life. Take care, guys.